What are the five largest Catholic churches in the world? Churches can be measured and compared in several ways. These include area, volume, length, width, height, or capacity. Several churches individually claim to be the largest church, but for the purposes of this video, we'll be examining each structure by its interior measure. If you've ever been to any of these churches, then let us know in the comments which was your favorite. Here we go. Number 5. The Basilica of the Holy Trinity in Fatima, Portugal. With an interior square footage of 93,000, this basilica certainly has a more modern look as compared to many of the other Catholic churches that we've taken a look at. In 1953, the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima was consecrated. Years later, there were reports that the site could not handle the number of pilgrims on days of relatively minor volumes. But, it was not until 1996 that construction of a new church at the complex was proposed. In 1997, the sanctuary organized an international design competition for proposals for the new church. The international jury selected the design of Greek architect Alexandros Tombazis. The simple modernist design is both functional and iconographic to express its religiosity. However, the design has remained unpopular with many Catholics who prefer classic European architecture. From the main portico, the door of Christ brings attention to the transcendence of God. It represents the themes of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit with iconic imagery. Most of the interior decoration, including stations of the cross, were selected to provide a representation of the internal journey of self-sacrifice. Number 4. Our Lady of Lixen in Poland. This basilica is a Catholic church at the Shrine of Our Lady of Sorrows, Queen of Poland, and was actually built fairly recently with construction ending in 2004. The basilica has a spire height of 464 feet and a square footage of 107,000. Also, with the eighth largest dome in the world, this is Poland's largest church. The church is dedicated to Our Lady of Sorrows, Queen of Poland, whose icon, perhaps dating back to the 18th century, is displayed on the basilica's main altar. It is one of Poland's principal pilgrimage sites. The history of the church dates back to 1813, when a Polish soldier fighting under Napoleon was seriously wounded. He invoked the Virgin Mary, begging her not to let him die in a foreign land. According to legend, she appeared to him wearing a golden crown, a dark red gown with a golden mantle and holding a white eagle in her right hand. She comforted the soldier and promised he would recover and return to Poland. The soldier was instructed to have an image of her made and to place the image in a public place so that my people will pray before this image and shall draw many graces at my hands in the hardest times of trial. Number 3. The Milan Cathedral. With a height of 354 feet and an interior square footage of 125,000, this stands as one of the largest churches in the world. The cathedral took nearly six centuries to complete. Construction began in 1386, and the final details were completed in 1965. The roof is open to tourists, which allows many a close-up view of some spectacular sculptures that would otherwise be unappreciated. The roof of the cathedral is renowned for the forest of openwork pinnacles and spires set upon delicate flying buttresses. The cathedral was built over several hundred years in a number of contrasting styles. Reactions to the architecture have been mixed, but most appreciate the diversity of its design. Henry James commented that the cathedral is a structure not supremely interesting, not logical, not commandingly beautiful, but grandly curious and superbly rich. In the 18th century, a meridian line was added to the floor of the cathedral, and a small hole was made in the roof. The sun is supposed to hit the meridian line at noon. In more recent years, the line was examined by architects and astronomers, and it was concluded that the accuracy was within two seconds of real noon. Number 2. The Cathedral Basilica of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Aparecida in Brazil. It is the largest cathedral and the second largest Catholic church in the world. The tower reaches a height of 358 feet, 
and the basilica has a square footage of nearly 200,000. According to local tradition, three fishermen were attempting to catch a large amount of fish for a banquet honoring the visit of the Sao Paulo governor in 1717. Despite their prayers, their attempts were fruitless until late in the day, one of the fishermen cast his net and pulled it back to find a statue of the Virgin Mary. The group cleaned the statue, wrapped it in cloth, and returned to their task to find their fortunes had changed and they were able to obtain all the fish they needed. Today, the cathedral houses this statue as previous church structures were unable to handle the vast amount of pilgrims that were visiting the site. The structure is in the Romanesque revival style and takes the form of a Greek cross. The Basilica of Aparecida has received the Golden Rose on three occasions. From Pope Paul VI in 1967, from Pope Benedict XVI in 2007, and from Pope Francis in 2017. Number 1. St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. Standing at a height of 448 feet, the total square footage of the structure is 163,000. The basilica was initially planned in the 15th century by Pope Nicholas V and then Pope Julius II to replace the aging old St. Peter's Basilica, which was built in the 4th century by Roman Emperor Constantine the Great. Construction of the present basilica began in 1506 and was completed in 1626. The basilica is the burial place of St. Peter, and his tomb is directly below the high altar. The Pope presides at a number of liturgies throughout the year, both within the Basilica or the adjoining St. Peter's Square. These liturgies draw audiences numbering from 15,000 to over 80,000 people. The structure is in the high Italian Renaissance style and is designed in the form of an enormous Greek cross, with a dome inspired by that of the huge circular Roman temple, the Pantheon. There are over 100 tombs within St. Peter's Basilica that house 91 different popes, saints, Roman emperors, and composers. Some well-known relics housed within the basilica include the Veil of Veronica, part of the True Cross, a piece of the Holy Lance, and the skull of St. Andrew the Apostle.